what actually came first is it an egg or the chicken do you know a chicken takes averagely 20 hours to manufacture one egg have you ever been amazed or gutted by bumping into an extremely small egg i know most of you ended up blaming it on the cock or the roaster in the house and you probably have heard or dealt with an egg that has two yolks have you ever splashed a fresh egg on a pan only to be met with blood drops on the yolk or the egg white some of you might have suspected the chef for testing an egg excessively leading to reduced output size on the platter with a steady and upward universal trajectory in egg demand Pomet brings you an insightful episode on egg science eggs are a great source of protein in this episode we will discuss about the variation in egg sizes and also the most common abnormalities that are witnessed in the eggs eggs are not similar in weight the variation comes about with the different chicken breeds and the age of birds in lay when a chicken begins laying the initial eggs are small and weigh as low as 30 grams when the bird continues increasing in weight the egg weight also increases all the chicken have heavier eggs compared to the younger flocks in a flock birds lay eggs that are not of similar weight as you can see the sample that i took on the table eggs you can see all the 20 eggs that are weighed are of different weight range a normal egg has an oval shape with one broad end and one thin end the average weight for a normal egg is around 70 grams but in some instances you can find eggs weighing as low as even 15 grams and some as high as 150 grams uh, that is uh, solely caused by the abnormalities that can be found uh, during the period the bird is in lay these abnormalities may be brought about by diseases uh, some may be brought about by stress and some may also be due to the genetical disorders by the birds so today we're going to look at some of the common abnormalities that you may have bumped into while uh, consuming or while doing uh, egg production in your farms minute tiny or in some incidences they are called extremely small eggs this is an egg that is extremely small in size and weighs below 30 grams some are as small as 10 grams these are eggs that should not be used uh, in hatching and majorly they are caused by a young flock or it could be also a flock that is in a proper age but uh, when you have deficiencies especially if the nutrition is not up to par or sometimes can be caused by a stress during the management practices in the poultry farm we have another one called uh, the double yolked eggs this is an abnormality and uh, from the outside it, the egg appears to be extremely big and it's a deformity where two yolks are enclosed in an egg they are mostly produced by overstimulated chicken at the onset of lay feed and light stimulation are the most common this egg can weigh as high as 130 to even 150 grams some of you may have witnessed an egg that appears to not having a shell or it appears to be transparent that you can see the egg content from the outside are this called a shellless or a soft shell egg this is an incidence where a chicken lays an egg with very brittle or no shell at all. This is mostly caused by uh, deprivation of nutrients, especially uh, calcium in the diet of the chicken. Some of you may have witnessed uh, bloody uh, stained yolks. This is where a drop of blood is seen at the yolk or sometimes even in the egg white. It is caused by damage or rupture of blood vessels along the ovary, leading to blood being capsulated during the egg forming process. When birds are stressed or they are disturbed, uh, the prevalence of uh, bloody stained eggs is actually high. We also have another deformity where the eggs do not take uh, the correct shape that we expect for an egg to look like. And these eggs do not have a defined shape. Some of them appear to be sort of round. Others take an undefined shape. And this also uh, is caused by stress in the flock. And sometimes it also is caused by uh, nutrient deficiencies. And also some diseases tend to alter the reproductive duct hence not giving the egg the correct shape during the formation uh, we have also an incidence where you find an egg appears to be rough and also sort of a sort sort like droplets on the surface and that's what you call the calcium deposit so that shows you there's an excess uh, depositing of calcium on the eggshell i know most of you are so much concerned because we've talked about the egg deformities, uh, the double yolk, uh, the minute eggs, the blood stained eggs, the misshapes, and also those that have calcium deposits. And some of you are worrying if those eggs are safe for consumption. 
actually there's no challenge or there's no health implication that comes about with consuming of those eggs so such eggs can be eaten and they have uh, health benefits just like the normal eggs so some of you maybe the sight of them may not be beholding they can also be used for uh, manufacture of animal feeds if they are not consumed but they don't ha do not have any health implication if uh, they are taken by human so uh, proper flock management uh, will help to minimize uh, egg deformities and because on the, this episode we're just talking about the table eggs when you come to the next episode that the second chapter of uh, egg science we'll be talking about hatching eggs and you'll see the implication that these deformities are uh, caused to the farmer who is practicing uh, breeding of uh, chicken definitely you must have learned something new today uh, on egg science make sure that you watch out for the next episode that will be talking about the hatching eggs the breeding eggs so that you are better aligned when it comes to issues on uh, poultry production so make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel you can also interact with us through the comment section and hit on the bell also so that each time we produce a new episode you're among the first people to get aligned with the insertive knowledge that you provide as farmed we also provide uh, consultancy services we also do farm visits so make sure that you link with us that we may guide you on this path of a successful business enterprise.